Hello, and welcome to Critical Environment Technologies video tutorial series, LPTA Calibration. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the calibration procedure for the LPTA analog transmitter. To calibrate the LPTA, you will need a calibration kit, gas cylinders with a sufficient amount, correct concentration and type of gas, and a voltmeter with hook-on leads. It is also important that you make sure the sensor you are calibrating has not passed its life expectancy. In this demonstration, I am using an LPTA with an internal carbon monoxide sensor. With the LPTA powered on and in normal operation, the display will show the current detected level of CO. In this example, the transmitter is detecting 35 ppm of CO. The first step in calibration is to set the cal gas value. Open the LPTA and find the jumper bank on the left side of the board. To set the cal gas value, move one of the idle jumpers to position 5, cal gas. By default, the cal gas value is set to 100 ppm and calibrated by the factory using span gas at 100 ppm concentration. Therefore, in this example, the display should show 100 ppm. If it is not showing 100 ppm or if you are using a different cal gas concentration, use the rotary encoder dial to adjust the number. The ppm number on the display should match the cal gas concentration ppm. To complete the set cal gas value procedure, move the cal gas jumper back to the idle position. The LPTA offers one jumper calibration meaning you don't have to move jumpers back and forth to different positions when doing the null and span calibrations. The jumper is moved once and remains in the cal position until both calibration procedures are complete. To begin the null calibration, attach the regulator to the cylinder, insert the calibration adapter into the sensor opening in the front of the enclosure door, and open the regulator valve fully, allowing the zero gas to flow over the sensor. Move one jumper from the idle position to the cal position. The display will show calibration waiting to zero. If the reading is accepted, the message zero accepted will display and you can continue with the span gas calibration. If the zero level is not accepted, the message zero out of range override will appear. To override, move the other jumper resting on idle to the fourth position override. This must be done within 30 seconds or the calibration process will be cancelled and the LPTA will return to normal operating mode. When the message flow gas appears, attach the span gas cylinder and open the regulator valve fully to allow the span gas to flow over the sensor. When the gas flow is detected, the display will read waiting for stable reading. After the sp span is successfully completed, the display will show calibration complete. Return both jumpers to their idle position and the LPTA will return to normal operation. If the span gas is still flowing, the PPM value will increase on the display showing that the calibration was successful. This completes the calibration procedure for the LPTA. If you would like more information or in-depth training, you can sign up to take our service training courses. Please visit us at criticalenvironment.com or call 1-877-940-8741. Thanks for watching.